In today's video, I'll be sharing with you all the fragrances that I've worn over the past week. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Hi, my name is Aisha from simplyaisha.com. Here on YouTube, I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as I said, today's video, we'll be talking about every single fragrance that I've worn over the past week. This will also include any body care that I use to go along with those fragrances, including layering combinations. So if you've never seen one of these videos from me, first of all, why not <laughs> check out my playlist? I find these videos to be really fun. They're easy for me to do and y'all seem to enjoy them. So as long as all of those three things keep happening for me, I will keep doing these videos. I typically do these videos every couple of weeks or so and in them, I do them vlog style, meaning that I come on when I'm spraying on my fragrance, let you know a little bit about how it smells and why I chose it for that particular occasion. At the end of the video, I'll come back on and we'll talk about my three standout fragrances for the week. And those standouts could be for good reasons or for bad reasons. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this week's fragrances. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. So I'm getting ready to go to church and I may go to brunch later, not quite sure. But for that, I decided to go ahead and apply this body oil first. This is the Exalted Pulp Body Oil from Solitaire. This is a um, like tropical fruit smelling body oil. It smells really good. So I started out by applying this all over my body. And then the fragrance I'm wearing for today is Number 4 Neon by Thomas Cosmala. This is a newer fragrance to me. I think I filmed a haul featuring this fragrance, but I don't know which one of these videos you're going to see first. <laughs> but... If the haul is already live, I will link it because I'll talk more about it in that video. But basically, this is a airy, slightly ambery, fruity type scent. So I went for this today because I find it to be kind of a fun scent. And like I said, I may go to brunch. So um, yeah, I want fun scents for brunch. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for today. Hey y'all, it's Sunday evening and I'm actually getting ready to go to an event. I'm going to a team building event for our business. Um, so I decided to wear a Baccarat Rouge 540 X tray. It was on my tray. Um, so I figured why not go ahead and wear it, uh, today? Cause we're not going anywhere. We're going to, um, main event, which is like bowling. <laughs> so, um, I feel like this will be a good scent for that. Even though it's a fancy scent, it's one that I don't wear very often anymore because I always smell it. Well, not always, but I just don't wear it very often. Um, so I figured tonight would be a good time to wear it. And I, didn't bring it out here to show y'all, but I also paired this with the Baccarat Rouge 540 body oil and a little bit of the hair perfume as well. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for tonight. Hey y'all, it's Sunday night. I'm just showered for the night. And tonight I'm wearing Bianco Latte by Giardini di Toscana. This is a vanilla scent that has like notes of, I think, caramel, honey, and has a slight lactonic vibe to it to me. Um, but I just decided to spray this on. I'm not going to be up too much longer. I just really wanted to smell something kind of simple. And this is a really well done vanilla. So yeah, that's why I went for this for tonight. Hey y'all, happy Monday. So today is the first day of school. Get ready to take my kids to school. And today I decided to wear Elop by Soradora. This is a new fragrance to me. It is an almond apricot scent. That's all I'm going to say about it because I am actually testing this out still. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to wear it is because um, I'm testing it. Because um, I'm actually going to do a full review on this. I feel like I haven't done one in a long time. And this is one I was really excited about. So yeah, I decided to go ahead and wear it for today because I felt like it fit the occasion. Hey y'all, it's Monday night. I'm getting ready to go out to a friend's birthday dinner. So tonight I'm wearing Manhattan by Roja Parfums. This is a tobacco and kind of vanilla scent, spicy. It's not extremely sweet. I've only worn it maybe like once or twice. So yeah, I decided to wear it tonight because I felt, I just felt like this was a vibe. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing for tonight. Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. I gotta be real quick today. I'm on my way out of the house. I um, need to meet my trainer at the gym. So the fragrance I'm wearing is Gypsy Water from Barreto. This is a lightweight vanilla that is a little bit herbal, very airy. This is on my tray. Um, so I decided to just pick it up and use it since I'm in a rush. So yeah, y'all, it's still Tuesday. And the fragrance that I'm wearing for today is Creation E Parfum Cologne. This is my Sexy Roman Coke fragrance. I have talked about a ton, so we're not going to spend a lot of time on it. But I'm getting ready to go to lunch with one of my friends before she goes back out of town. Or actually, three of my friends. <laughs> but two of them live in town. 
and one of them um, is getting ready to leave. So we're going out to lunch, which should be fun. And I feel like this is like a fun summer daytime scent for me, although it is a kind of boozy scent. I feel like it just works in the summer for me. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing for today. Hey y'all, it's Tuesday night. I just got out of the shower. And so I start out by mixing this perfume oil in with my body lotion. This is the Vanilla Musk Perfume Oil from TJ Maxx from the brand um, Sand and Fog. And it's just a vanilla musky scent. So I mix this in with my body lotion for my base. And then my fragrance for tonight is Un Vani from the brand Obvious. I featured this in my most recent like budget-friendly haul video. So if you want to know more about it, check it out there. But um, this is my first time wearing it. So I decided to wear this tonight because it's a nice vanilla musky scent that's not doing the most. And I figured this would be a great time to try it because I wasn't really feeling like, you know, going all out with my fragrances tonight. I just really wanted to smell good and simple. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for tonight. Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. So I am dressed for the day and getting ready to go run some errands. And the fragrance I decided to wear today is Brazilian Day. I gotta run some errands and I'm going to lunch with my husband. So I figured this would be a good choice. <clears throat> this is a citrusy scent, but it has this kind of animalic musky resinous tone to it. Very interesting and one that I absolutely love. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for today. And this was on my fragrance tray, which kind of helped me easily pick it. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for today. Hey y'all, it's Wednesday night and tonight I'm wearing Lavender Extreme by Tom Ford. This is a dark lavender, spicy, tonka type of scent. Very interesting. I find it to be cozy. It comes off kind of strong at first spray, but once it mellows into the skin, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And when I say once it mellows, I'm meaning like within like a minute or two. Um, it's gorgeous. And I decided to go for this tonight because I wanted something that was like cozy feeling, but I also wanted to wear something I haven't worn in a long time. And this is typically one that I wear in the winter. Uh, but I figured since I was just wearing it to bed, it wouldn't matter. It's not that bad. It's not that heavy. <laughs> um, yeah, so I decided to go for this. Unfortunately, this is discontinued. Don't know why, but may I guess it wasn't a big seller. But it's actually a really nice, like, unique scent from the line. So I wish they would have kept it around. Anyway, this is what I'm wearing for tonight. Hey, y'all. Happy Thursday. So the fragrance I'm wearing this part of the day is Dolce & Gabbana Parfum. This is a light kind of raspberry um, type scent, kind of raspberry whipped cream marshmallow type scent. But it has this shampoo vibe. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for this part of the day. I'm just going to take my kids to school and exercise. So I just wanted something easy going. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for right now. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. So my fragrance today is Comet by Chanel. This is a slightly powdery, sweet, floral-ish fragrance with some muskiness. <laughs> not a very good description, but I'm actually wearing this today because... Number one, I'm not feeling that great. So I knew I didn't want anything like super offensive or loud or fun. <laughs> and um, also number two, I will be doing a video soon that compares this to another fragrance. So I just want to kind of like refresh myself on it. So I figured I would go ahead and wear this for today. So yeah. Hey y'all, it's Thursday night and tonight I started up by applying the strawberry, strawberry milk body lotion from the brand Quill Nera. I picked this up from either Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Can't tell which one, but I see them a lot in Marshalls. So this smells like a strawberry milkshake, basically. And then the fragrance I'm wearing tonight is Mokolat by Montal. This is a strawberry scent that is not the most natural smelling. I will tell you, when I first got this, I thought it smelled like strawberry air freshener. However, after you actually like spray it on your skin, the strawberry air freshener scent is not really what you get. So like I'll, I'll get the strawberry air freshener like as soon as I spray it, but within like a minute or two, it really starts developing <laughs> and it becomes still not the most natural strawberry, but like a um, sweet artificial strawberry, but not in a bad way. Um, it smells really, really good, y'all. And I decided to wear this because it has been a super long time since I wore this. And recently I had like a couple of strawberry fragrance fails. And so I was like, let me spray this on because I literally probably have not sprayed this on in like a year or two. So yeah, I decided to go ahead and wear this for tonight. Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. So I'm getting ready to go to the gym. 
Um, the fragrance I'm wearing for that is from Chopard. It's Happy Chopard Lemon Dolce. I talked about this in a recent video. It was my budget friendly like fragrance gem gems. Um, so this is a citrus scent, basically a lemon scent. It has some other stuff in there. It has a little bit of sweetness, but it's kind of a basic citrus scent, but it smells really good. So yeah, anyway, I decided to wear this today to the gym because I just really felt like I was in a citrus mood. I was kind of hot when I was getting dressed, so maybe that's why. So yeah, this is what I decided to go for. Hey y'all, it's still Friday and I am now showered for the day and I started out by applying the Saltaire Pink Beach Body Oil. This is like a lightweight kind of coconut smelling oil, but it's not extremely like strong in smell, but it does kind of add something to the scent. So start out by applying this. And then my fragrance for today is Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. This is my luxurious coconut floral that I always think, always makes me think of a luxury resort. So it does kind of go in that sunscreen direction, but in a very like elevated type of way. It smells very high quality. This is, I think my first private line Tom Ford and I have not worn it in a long time. So I put it on my fragrance tray this month and yeah, today I decided it was the day that I need to wear it. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for today. Hey y'all, it's still Friday and I'm getting ready to go out to an early dinner with my family. And I just touched up my fragrance, but I added something so I wanted to share with y'all. So y'all know I've been wearing Soleil Blanc today. And then when I touch it up, I apply some of this Juliet Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes, which is a kind of salty vanilla beach air kind of scent. Um, that I feel like it pairs really well with coconut type scents. So yeah, I sprayed this on and I sprayed Soleil Blanc on top again just to kind of switch it up. So yeah, this is what I am wearing. Hey y'all, it's Friday night and tonight I start out by applying a Santal Bloom body oil. This smells like sandalwood and a slight bit of floral nuance. And then my fragrance for tonight is Donna Cat. Donna Karen Cashmere and Palo Santo. This is a woody scent. Um, it's kind of cozy though. It's woody, it's a little smoky, but it's also kind of warm and vanillic as well. And I think this is only my second time wearing this. Um, so yeah, I decided to wear it tonight because I didn't know what I wanted to wear. I'm not going anywhere, just gonna hang out with my husband. And uh I was trying to look at my top shelves because those are the ones that get neglected, and this was up there. So I was like, oh, let me let me try this out again because I really haven't had a chance to really get to know this yet. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for tonight. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. So today I started out by applying this body lotion. This is a coconut milk body lotion from Quill Nera. It's like just a milky, lightweight coconut scent. And then the fragrance I'm wearing today is Mew Mew Fleur de Lay. This is a um, like milky mango um, coconut type scent. I also feel like there's some florals in here, but mainly I get like a creamy kind of mango, but it's not like super like lactonic like Cruise del Sur 2 is. This is definitely a much lighter experience. But I decided to go for this today because we'll be outside at the pool um, with one of our friends. So I knew I didn't want anything really heavy and I was gonna wear Miami Nectar from Ellis Brooklyn, but I was like, Aisha, give it a rest, give it a rest. I've worn that fragrance so much this summer. So I wanted to give something else a turn. So I decided to go ahead and wear this. Hey y'all, it's Saturday night. I'm getting ready to take my shower. And tonight for my fragrance, I am going to start out by applying this. This is the Honey Body Oil from Victoria's Secret. It smells like honey, but it's not animalic or anything like that. It just smells like a nice, sweet honey. So I'll be applying this all over my body. And then my fragrance for tonight will be this. Uh, Bianco Latte by Giardini di Toscana. I feel like everybody's heard of this. Everybody knows about it by now, but it is a vanilla scent that to me has some milkiness to it, even though I don't think there's a milk note in it, but it has some milkiness to it. It has a nutty vibe to it, and it has like a bit of a honey touch to it as well and a caramel. So although it's a vanilla, it has like some other sweet notes that go into it as well. So yeah, I really just felt like smelling like a snack tonight. So I decided that this will be my fragrance for tonight. So I must say, I had an amazing week and an amazing fragrance week. Um, I felt like I was just smelling good all week. Like I always feel like that, <laughs> but sometimes it's more so than others. So this week I have a four standouts. I normally do three, but one of them we're really not gonna talk about. And once we get to that fragrance, I'll kind of let you know why, but we'll start out with the ones that I received compliments on. Because if I get a compliment on a fragrance when I'm doing these videos, it always ends up in my standouts 
or if I get a derogatory comment about one that pretty much never happens. But if that were to happen, I would include that anyway, because I really just like to share those things with y'all in like real time. So we'll start out with the three that I received compliments on. This first one is none other than Baccarat Rouge 540X Straight Day Perfume. So this one is on my fragrance tray, but it has been a while since I've worn it. It's so good, y'all, so good. Every time I pull this fragrance back out, I wonder why I don't wear it more. I actually prefer the X-Tray over the original Baccarat Rouge. And I don't know, I, I really need, I'm glad I put it on my tray this month because I really need to wear this one more. The reason it's a standout is because I did get a compliment on it. I also enjoyed wearing it myself, but I wore this to a team building event and I got complimented by a few of the team members. But the first one that gave me a compliment was when they gave me a hug and they were like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. What are you wearing? Now they know I'm into fragrance um, because they actually follow me on Instagram. <laughs> but I did get some other compliments from like some of the other team members as well that don't know I'm into fragrance but y'all so if you have this fragrance and you think that it doesn't stand out anymore I'm here to tell you it's wrong it still gets compliments still smells good pull it back out put it to use that's what I'm trying to do the next compliment getter is from Roja Parfums and this is Manhattan so I wore Manhattan this week and I went to a dinner for my friend's birthday and another I sat next to like my good friend and she was like oh my gosh, you smell so good. <laughs> like she kept saying, and she was like, what's the name of that? And obviously she knows I'm into fragrances, but she, when I told her, she's like, what? And then she was like, later on, she was like, oh my gosh, you smell delish. And then now she's actually reached out again via my comment section on one of my videos asking me what I was wearing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's Roger Manhattan. This is like a tobacco vanilla scent. It has some spices in it. It's not too heavy, but it is definitely present. It has this kind of yummy vibe without smelling like straight food. So good. And I think I've only worn this maybe like one other time. So I was really happy to wear it that night because I felt like it matched my outfit. I felt like it matched my vibe. And apparently others thought so as well. So again, that's Roja Manhattan. Now this next standout, we're not gonna talk about too much, but it is from Soradora and this is Elop. So the reason we're not gonna talk about it much is because like I said, I do have a video that will be coming out all about this fragrance. I did purchase this by the way, um, but this I'll be doing a full review on. So I'm not gonna talk about it much in this video, but it did receive several compliments when I wore it this week. So I did wanna point that out to y'all, but that's all I'm really going to say. So again, that's Soradora Elop. And then the last fragrance is a standout just because I really, really enjoy wearing it and I have not worn this fragrance in ages. So the fragrance I'm talking about is from Montal and this is Mucalot. Y'all could probably hear it making noise before I even showed it to y'all, but this is a strawberry scent that is kind of fake artificial strawberry, but in a very good way. <laughs> And then it has this beautiful musk that comes into play. Now, this is not going to be for everybody. This is the fragrance that, I, this is the type of fragrance that I feel like I have to be in the mood for, but y'all, I wore this the other night to bed and I just could not get enough of how good I smell. Like this fragrance, I could really smell it on myself. The strawberry was given what it needed to give. And recently, um, if you saw my budget friendly fragrance haul, I talked about two strawberry fragrances that I tried that really didn't live up to what I wanted them to be. And so I'm glad that I gave this a try because it's been in my collection for a long time now and I just kind of forgot about it, honestly. But I'm glad I gave this a try because this is giving me all that strawberry goodness that I apparently have been looking for lately. Um, so if you have this, pull it back out. Like I said, it's not for everybody. If you smell this in store, spray it on your hand and let it settle for like a good five minutes because smelling it when it first sprays, like I remember when I first got this fragrance, I thought it smelled like bad, bad. Like when I sprayed it, I was like, this is strawberry air freshener. And I do still kind of get that, but on the skin, it's so much better. And although it doesn't smell like the most natural strawberry, it still smells really freaking good in my opinion. So again, that's Mocha Lot by Montal. So that's it for this week's fragrances. Let me know if you try any of the fragrances that I mentioned. Also in the comments, let us know what, what was your standout fragrance from the past week. You can let us know one or two or three or however many you want to, and whether that be for good reasons or bad reasons. I really love y'all to join in on these conversations. And the comment section is not just for me, it's for everybody. So <laughs> make sure you leave that in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every Sunday and Wednesday with some bonus 
list is thrown in. So I have a ton of content for you to check out. Also make sure you check me out everywhere else, including my website, Instagram, and TikTok. I will have links for all my social media, along with links for all the products I mentioned, including body care in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye. Oh, oh, oh.